August. I'm Nick Mays, and today is Thursday, March 31st, and this is SNN. And I'm Drake Hugo. Today is also International Pillow Fight Day. But we have no pillows. Sorry, no fighting. Please stand for the flag salute. Please stand. Put your right hand over your heart. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may now be seated. Congratulations go out to the Saugus High School Color Guard. The team competed in the WGASC Color Guard competition held this past weekend at Arcadia High School. The team competed in the Scholastic AAA Division along with nine other color guards. Their winning performance earned them a first place trophy. Again, congratulations, Saugus Color Guard. Don't forget to wish good luck to Jill Young, Riley Phelps, and Noah Chowdhury this week. They will be beginning their spring break competing at the Aloha Classic Invitational Speech Tournament at Shure High School in Montebello this Saturday. Good luck, guys. Women's Ensemble earned a superior rating at their festival last week. They received the highest score in the history of this ensemble, 3.94 out of 4. This is an incredible achievement. Please congratulate them when you see them. The Los Angeles County Commission on Disabilities is offering scholarships to students with disabilities that are going to college. Applicants must have at least a 2.0 GPA and live in LA County. See your counselor for more information. If you are a graduating senior that has, a, that has sustained a serious injury and plan to attend college, you can apply for a $1,000 scholarship at the website listed below. The deadline is May 31st. The Canyon Theater Guild Scholarship is offering $500 to high school seniors. Two scholarships are offered and previous acting is not required. Applications are in the office and the deadline is tomorrow. Get on it. A $1,000 scholarship will be awarded to students that are interested in pursuing a business degree at any accredited post-secondary school or college. Interested, interested students can visit the link listed below and find the scholarship located at the right side of the page and click on it. The deadline for the scholarship is June 1st, 2016. Now let's go to Harrison Ta with your Saga Sports News. What's going on, Sagas? Harrison Ta here with your sports news. Boys Tennis will battle it out today with West Ranch. Varsity plays at home and JV at West Ranch both at 3. Boys Volleyball will challenge Hart today. Varsity plays at 5.30, JV at 4.30, and Frush at 4, all at home. Swim and Dive will compete against Golden Valley today. Splashes start at 3 at the Santa Cruz Aquatic Center. Softball plays against Chatsworth this afternoon. Varsity plays at 3.15 at Saugus and JV at 3.15 at Central Park on Field 1. The next competition of the year is here. The Bet Midler will shell for shell softball home run derby will be held after spring break on the softball field at lunch. Each competitor will receive at least 10 swings and try their luck at winning the grand prize. Mr. Minyard, Carl Fardman, and Brendan Marcia will be tough to beat. All you have to do is go to the softball field on the Friday after spring break and you are part of the competition. Start going to the cages. Now that's all for your sports news today. We'll be right back after this. My entire life. I was always expected to be happy. Whenever I was not happy, people would ask, what was wrong with me? I learned that in order to avoid these confrontations, I would have to live with a facade of happiness. People thought I was happy all the time, when rather I was living in two different worlds. Deep down, I was encompassed by an abyss of loneliness. I now know that I don't have to fit in to what other people expect of me. I learned that what I have does not define who I am, but rather is a separate part of me. My family and friends supported me and helped me get through my struggles. Mental illness can affect anyone, including yourself or your friends. If you notice anything within yourself or anyone, know the signs, find the words, and talk. Only you can defeat the stigma of mental illness. Remember not to stigmatize, Saugus. Attention juniors and seniors attending prom. The dress code regarding the prom dresses consists of not allowing any plunging back lines that are past the mid-back and plunging v-necks. 
Additionally, there are no two-piece or crop top dresses allowed as they cannot show the midriff. Slits in the dresses are not allowed if they pass the mid-thigh. Also, and lastly, no side or front cutouts in the dress are allowed. Thank you for your cooperation, and if you seek to get a dress approved, please contact Mrs. Hamburger or an administrator. It's their rules. If you come to prom wearing anything that is in violation of the dress code, there is a distinct likelihood that you, would be, that you will be pulled out and made to fix it so it falls within the code, and that, that could make you or your prom date late for the prom bus. SNN is now accepting pictures, either electronic or hard copy, for this year's senior slideshow. Submit your pictures to the email listed below or bring them to D5. The yearbook is currently selling for $85 and will change to $100 right after spring break. If you're unsure about whether or not you purchased a book, please check in with ASB. The next available SAT test date is May 7th and the deadline to register is April 8th. It is recommended that all juniors take the SAT at least one time in the spring of their junior year to prepare for college apps in the fall. If you are interested in applying to the UCs, you should take at least two of the SAT two subject tests, preferably in the spring of their junior year. That's right now. Register at the site listed below. The deadline for the College of the Canyons. The, the deadline for the College of the Canyons priority summer school registration is today. That's all for today. I'm Nick Mays. And I'm Drake Hugo. Stay tuned for Saugus today. And remember, there's an active shooter drill today. Be prepared.